G'day, it's David. Um, I often do gardening videos, but today I want to do a video about my chicken tractor, or as I like to call it, my chicken tank. As uh, a design I came up with myself. Um, I just want to do you quickly showcase what we have here. So we have some a couple of chickens, and I wanted to design something that we could move around the yard. I wanted to make it a little bit more luxurious than the traditional uh, smaller tri chicken tractors and that's why I call this a chicken tank. So some of the features that I've built into this, it's, it's been quite hot here in Melbourne, so we've got some um, reflective solar uh, plastic panels here to reflect the heat and give the, the uh, chickadees a bit more shade, make it a little bit cooler, a bit more uh, enjoyable for them. So I've started the construction of this with a, a, a base timber frame, a square box frame on the bottom, and then went about putting some A-frame uprights that you can see inside there. Um, joined them at the top, uh, put a cross beam that goes all the way across the apex of the chicken tractor uh, I didn't want to make a, a little door I wanted to actually make a full-size door to make it easier for, uh, for for us to get in and out of for maintenance so we've got a, um, a proper uh, three hinges we put three hinges in here to give it plenty of uh, strength and support cross members across it and then uh, extra bracing to keep it square and keep it strong. Uh, double uh, padlocked at top and bottom in case we have a lot of uh, problems with foxes around here. Foxes are a big problem. I don't think any any of our neighbors have had chickens haven't lost fox, uh, haven't lost a chicken to foxes. But we're quite lucky that hasn't happened with our chicken tank. Um, the back section here. I've actually constructed a, a back half of the chicken uh, chicken tank. Is the housing for for inside? So I've just made a a simple uh, screw through some timber dowel that allows us to unflip that, and the third security catch that just goes around so that nothing tries to pry and come in from the side. So we can then raise this door. We've got access to all of the inside here. So you can see we've got some um, nice timber shavings on the inside here to keep the girls happy. Uh, it's a chicken box at the back. We have vents front and back, and uh, obviously their door. Um, we put in some some uh, plastic sheeting. We've got some old uh, countertop plastic, thick plastic sheeting that just helps keep all the moisture and any anything any waste from the chickens from getting at the timber. All the timber is actually um, marine marine grade that we've put in here. Um, we did set up some perches, but the girls didn't use those. They prefer to snuggle down in the in the sawdust. So, we can simply lock this up and we have a parapet to lock that. These hinges just simple, simple homemade uh, latches that just rotate, made it longer, uh, the bottom half longer for them from the top, so the weight wants to keep it pulled down. So, um, and a simple Phillips head screwdriver and a washer as a pivot point. Uh, on the inside here, we actually set up a, a trap door or a sliding channel with a cord that goes up to a, a pulley that we've got here and then goes back out to the outside. I'll take you in and show you that on the other side. So we, we don't actually ever use this uh, except in winter when it gets cool. So when it gets really cold, the girls go in at night time, we'll come down and just um this is just hooked around a um uh, another phillips head screw 
and then we can let the door down open and close it so the girls are, are warm uh, reflective panels on this side as well just to keep the, the heat down on the girls on the front I bought a couple of um, just a, a metal bracket this is actually uh, like a shelf bracket uh, we bought from our Bunnings hardware store here in Australia and then I've gone around to uh, an auto mart, auto barn bought a trailer hitch and just a single bolt through onto the top of this enables us to hook this sucker up so again I've got this at an auto barn it's used to move, you normally to move caravans around or little trailers and I can actually then hook this under that, lift this up it actually lifts the whole front of this trailer up so I can then manoeuvre it around the yard uh, which leads to our back piece of the chicken tank so on the back of the chicken tank we've set up a pair of jockey wheels so it's just a simple matter of winding this down jacking up this side winding up winding it down on this side and lifting it up so wind these um, both both the wheels down whack the trolley jack under the front and then I can manoeuvre the uh, chicken tank to wherever I want uh, the back end the where the girls lay their eggs we've just got a simple piano hinge again a couple of para uh, clips and this enables us to lift this up I actually have got a just a simple again a simple hinge it's a bit of scrap dowel with a Phillips head screw through it acts as a pivot and um, we can hold this up while we muck around, collect eggs, resort the, the bedding. Um, again, using a lot of things that we had around the place. These are all old clips from old projects. Um, I didn't want to go out and buy a, a hinge. I just knocked up a bit of leftover dowel. Simple, effective um, tool. Simple nail through the, the side here. So when you drop this down, Holds it in place, keeps it all neat. Uh, won't poke the, the girls. Um, for extra support on the back of the the egg egg box, put in a piece of just upright. Uh, because the foxes are quite quite crafty, and they will dig in underneath. Uh, the edge of coops that aren't don't have the proper setup um, i went to quite an elaborate exercise of installing an electric wire so i've bought a gallagher um, solar uh, basically electric fence electric wire these are made in new zealand this is a great unit uh, s10 i think this will actually run a couple hundred meters of normal electric fence so for this it's uh, certainly overkill but the foxes um, they came the first night we actually had the girls and we set the coop up we we're inside the house and we actually heard the fox the first fox that came up and tried to dig because what they do is I come up to an edge and they'll actually dig at the edge so they normally recommend with your normal coops to run the chicken wire down and out a couple of foot from the sh from the edge because the uh, foxes will dig and they can't get through the wire. In this case, we've actually set the wire up. Uh, we've got a couple of insulators. So it, it, it actually is terminated there. So one end of the wire just runs around here. It runs all through these insulators. We run uh, the positive down onto the, uh, this active wire. And then the earth, we've actually got an earth stake, galv stake, which is driven into the ground here. So. When a fox hits this wire, it earths and it gets six or seven thousand volts through it, and they just don't come back. We've not had an issue uh, since the, the first time. We have cats, dogs, uh, and foxes come out here and they just sit here and look at the coop. They won't come near it. They've they've learnt their lesson. And being a rural area, uh, they learn quickly. They can actually hear the clicking of the uh, electric fence. So we have an insulator runs all the way around. And it's just off the ground. It's about um, three inches, four inches off the ground. So any 
anything that wants to come up and try and get into the coop as it goes up against it they'll actually hit it with their head and uh, 6,000 volts through the top of your cranium uh, certainly dissuade you from uh, trying to get it out at our chickens at the girls so the wire continues along all the way around same thing insulator insulator up to here to the other end of the traditional handle that you have and this just keeps it uh, tensioned so um, uh, that's basically our coop our chicken tractor uh, we move this actual coop we move this coop every couple of weeks give it get them onto some fresh ground they'll have the new grass uh, you can see other sections where we've had it they actually will go through give the grass a bit of a clip but all of their manure and everything goes onto there and uh, then your grass ends up coming up like this you end up with beautiful green grass uh, once it grows back so we just keep on um, you can see another we just move the girls around from patch to patch every couple of weeks they get a fresh bit of grass and um, that's our, our chicken coop a chicken tractor a chicken tank I uh, hope you've enjoyed please like uh, share and subscribe if you have any questions leave them in below